If you like the video, feel free to subscribe. It would really help the channel, and we have battle reports, boarding actions, and list videos every week. Thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. This is our map today. We have the Ritual with Crucible of Battle and Swift Action. So battle on units will really make a difference in this game. It's going to be the Grey Knights versus the Imperial Guard. Once again, just to get Laura some reps against different armies to get ready for the tournament and the win, hopefully. Ooh! All right, on to the armies. All right, so this is my list today. It's 2,000 points of Grey Knights. We have two Nemesis Dread Knights, just the regular ones, not the Grand Masters. Then we have a five man of Terminators with a Librarian with all the fixings. So they have a Psy Cannon, a Banner, and a way to res a model every command phase. We have two units of Strike Squads, a Calidus Assassin, another Librarian, and he has the Sigil of Exigence Enhancement, and he is with a unit of Paladins. There's two Incinerators and a Banner in that unit. Then finally, we have Kaldor Drago with a unit of 10 Terminators. They have the banner, the way to heal every command phase, and a two side cannons in this unit. And that is the list. It comes to 2,000 points exactly. Let's see what they do against the guard today. All right, so uh, if you watch any of the other videos, this list is exactly the same, but we've got 20 Cadians with a uh, Primaris Psyker and a Cadian Command Squad with a Lehman Rust with Heavy Flamers, just a regular Battle Cannon, a Little Sentinel, a Tank Commander with the Auto Cannon, a regular Rogal Dorn with the big Oppressor Pulverizer Cannon combo, another Cheeky Squad of 20. Sorry, these are the ones with the Primaris and the Command Squad. These guys have Ursula Creed and a Cadian Castellan. Two more Earthshakers in the back, Lehman Russ, 10 more Cadians, and there's 10 Kriegsmen, and another Rogaldorn in reserve. All right, so for the Grey Knights deployment, I deployed on the line here. I will be able to scout after we find out who goes first. Got my Nemesis Dread Knight over here with some Strike Squads, ready to go over here to put an objective, hopefully. A Librarian with some Terminators hanging over here behind my other Nemesis Dread Knight. Strike Squad over here on this objective. Assassin back here. I have Kaldor Drago with the 10 Terminators and a my Librarian with the Sigil of Exigence and the Paladins in the Deep Strikes as well. And on to the game. First turn roll. I forgot to record it, but it was a 6 and a 2. I actually wanted to go second, so the Emperor's Dice are blessing the Grey Knights so far. So it's going to be the Imperial Guard first. We'll do our scope moves. And on to first turn. Sentinel Scope moved up here just to place an objective in her first turn. And I just moved these strike squad behind this building just so I, I didn't want to get blasted. I could just get up six inches to get ready to put my own objective, but even if I get slowed, I still should be able to place one down and probably get blown away next turn. All right, so on to Laura's first turn. Let's see what she draws. No prisoners, okay. completely useless. And sabotage. All right. Actually, that's useful. That's useful. All right. You got to two CP. You get the one CP. You don't get the. Oh yeah. Don't. I don't have Leontis. Oh, okay. Both that one CP. We're gonna go on to Laura's movement. Laura pushed up one of her Lehman Russes here just to threaten if I move anything around here to some Overwatches and some shots. The Sentinel is going to place an objective, and this Rogaldorn just poked out of the deployment to do sabotage. So she's going to get some points for that. We're going to go on to the shooting. I don't think she can see anything, so she's just going to Earthshaker Cannon me to pieces. So let's go on to that, and we'll let you know what happens after I get Earth Shooken. All right, so I got lucky with my rolls. I didn't take any damage, but I am Earth Shooken. So these mm. guys lost two to their advance and their charge and their movement. Same with these Terminators. Laura is going to be able to sabotage. I probably can't stop that, so I do believe that will get her three points next turn. Something like that. Score is 0-0 zero, zero until next turn. I am going to pick up some units. I do believe I will pick up this Terminator squad and I will pick up the Assassin just to see what I can do with those. Laura's going to get an extra CP because she's going to toss no, no prisoners. prisoners. All right. So what are my cards for draw one for the Grey Knights? Let's hope we get something good. Storm Hostile Jactive. Not the best and recover assets. What's this one? It's when we have to do actions. 
actions in no man's land or oh yeah it's like the it's trip the one. different it's the sex. trips yeah. all right so we're gonna try to do that probably and we're gonna go on to the my movement phase two cp two lores three cp and laura was quick enough to realize that this was stormhouse objective and i can toss that put it back in the deck get something else we get secure no man's land much better i can probably get that one done possibly for my movement it took me a little while but i figured this one out try and play a little smart with my gray knights here I advanced this fellow up onto this objective just enough and, and did a little pivot. Cost me two inches, but so I couldn't get overwatched by this horrible, horrible Rogaldorn. So that will get me secure because I'm going to draw. I dropped this unit over here, used Haloed and Soulfire, so I cannot be tired within 18 inches, and I'm going to drop a objective marker here. The Assassin dropped over here so she can do recover assets. Probably want to move her kind of like in here so it seems a little harder to see around that wall. Hmm. And. Hmm just to stop Laura from pew pewing her, so she loves to do that. And this fellow moved up here. I want to advance and charge and shoot into this Lehman Ross, see if we can take that out. Everything else just stayed still, and we're gonna go on to my shooting and see what happens. So my shooting, not much happened. The heavy side cans bounced off this, but the flamer from this Nemesis Dread Knight did take out of two wounds. So now we have the charge from this Dread Knight into there. I need a seven, no CP for the rerolls. Come on, Emperor's Dice. Oh, a four. No good. Grey Knights are not strong enough for it. So we fail a charge. He's there just to get shot at and just kind of give Laura more things to shoot at, pretty much. So I do get Secure No Man's Land for making objective there and grabbing this one. And Recover Assets happening with this fella. And these uh, Strike Squad back here. And that's going to be my turn. I do believe I get five points. I didn't stop Laura from getting the sabotage, so she gets three, I do believe. Mm. And so it scores five to three for the Grey Knights. Going to Dolores, turn two. Assassination. Okay. And containment. Containment, assassination. You do get five points for this objective. Yes. Bringing you up to eight, to my mm. five. I'm going to go on to your movement. I'm up to one CP, and you're at, it looks like, two. Uh, I would actually go back up to three. Three. All right. Three CP to my one. And on to Laura's movement. All right. So for Laura's movement, she moved out most of her tanks towards this uh, Nemesis Dread Knight. I was thinking about picking it up, but I want to use the CP. I might want a true silver. And I want her to just things to soak up as much shooting. If I move everything out of the way, she can just focus one fire, focus one unit. This way, there's a lot of units on the board. And I do have a lot of invulnerables. So I could spike. She could spike. So it's going to be an interesting shooting phase. It's going to be interesting to see what this table looks like after Laura's shooting phase. She brought a Rogaldorn in over here, move these other units up. So we're going to have a shooting gallery. Let's see what happens and see if I can uh, weather the storm. So for Laura's shooting phase, she was able to take out the Dread Knight in the center and a lot of my Terminators. My Librarian is still there, so he will be able to hold that objective to get me some CP or some points, some victory points. I did live with my Nemesis Dread Knight over here. He was... Did take two wounds from some flamers, I do believe. Mm -hmm. And then, at the end of the turn, I did pick up both of my strike squads. I did lose a one unit off my strike squad, and both, or one model off my strike squad, and both of them are shaken, so they are slow now. And then Laura did get a big 11 on the secondary, so she is up to 19 points to my 5. So let's see if I can answer back in my turn 2. I'm up to 2 CP now. Recover assets, I'm probably going to toss that because there's just no need to be doing that, I don't think. Let's see what we get here. We get Establish Locus. Ah, uh, Recover Assets. We will. We'll hold, actually, we, I think we will hold. Still make one for Recover Assets. I don't know. That's a Oh, uh, gosh. I'm going to hold on to it. We might be able to recover something. We'll see. So, we can Recover Assets. Toss it if I don't need, use it for an extra CP. And we're going to go on to... My movement, I do get five points for this objective, bringing me up to 10. So it's 10 and 19. Let's see if I can get some of these points back and see if I can establish some locus. For my movement, uh, Grey Knight's pretty tricky, but hopefully this is a good play. These guys are gonna do recover assets as long as these strike squad over here survive as well. My Dread Knight moved ahead here so I could not fail the charge this time. Drago came down here. Not on the objective, but nine inches away from the Rogal Doran, so I can get a charge, and nine inches away from the Lehman Russ as well. So I can get the six inch charge. I was thinking about using the 
um, strategy and give me plus one to hit for the rest of the turn, but I would give up my only CP I might need to reroll the charge with. Staying here, because if I move, Laura would overwatch me. She may not kill him, but if she does, it's great spend of CP for her. Mm -hmm. Paladins and the Librarian dropped here, so we could do an action. We're going to recover Locust for some points, and then if they get targeted next turn, I can leave. That's my movement. We're going to go into the shooting, see if I can do some damage, and then we're going to go on to the charges, and hopefully I don't fail it. Grey Knights with the Nemesis Dread Knight. I was able to take off. Three wounds off my hated Sentinel. I should have killed this last game in one of my games earlier, but my own fault. Did barbecue six guardsmen though, and I did some mind powers, and I took out five wounds off this Rogal Dorn. So hopefully with these charges, I can get some damage in. So first one is going to, I'm actually going to charge this one because I'm not going to waste charges on this, rolling a 12 or something like that, but I'll probably waste my ones. All right, so we're going to roll into here. We do need a six. I do have a CP to reroll. Come on. That's a seven. You're good. Good. And then for here, a nine. Okay, so we are in. And we're going to do the combat. Alrighty, so for my melee phase, not the best, but still not the worst, just because I don't kill these things. So sometimes that's better because Laura will have to fall back, give her some options. This guy bounced off the Lehman Russ. Got lucky there. I did take the uh, Rogaldorn down to five wounds. So there will be some options for Laura. I do get another four points for this unit back here, bringing me up to 14 to Laura's 19. And we're going to mm -hmm. go in to the turn three for the Imperial Guard. Bring it down. Bring it down. Which there is one vehicle on the table. Yeah. And behind enemy lines. Behind enemy lines That's and bring it down. All actually right. so useful for me. All right, okay. And Laura is up to 24 points. She does score five points for this objective back here since it is sticky. And she's gonna go on to her movement. Score is 24 to 14. Turn three movement for the guard. Shuffled everything over towards Caldo Drago. Fell back this Rogaldorn. I could have used Mist of Dynamos, but I want to be on this objective. I want to kind of keep the threat here and take a lot of the shots just to see if I can tank them. Didn't fall back from here. If she had a fell back, I would have moved this to keep it away from bring it down. So kept that there. Everything else moved ahead. Brought down some Kriegsmen over here to shoot my strike squad just to see if she can kill them and get behind enemy lines as well. And that is her movement. I think the guard shuffled over a little bit mm -hmm. as well. Now we're going to go on to Laura's shooting and see what I have left on the table after her shooting phase. All right, so the end of Laura's turn, we just did the melee off combat just because I went there. And then the shooting, she did decimate my Terminators, but I am still on the objective, so that is good. I did lose my Librarian over here. She did target this Librarian squad with the Paladins when I was back here with the Rogaldorn, so I picked them up and just put them back over here. So I have this objective. I did lose, a li lose the Librarian. Kriegsmen were able to take out one of my Strike Squads. I did complete recover assets for a tiny recover assets for three points, just whiff there again, terrible. So the points are 27 to 17. We're going to go on to my turn four, is it turn three? Turn three. Turn three. Command phase, let's see what I draw. I do draw overwhelming force. I need to kill something on an objective. <laughs> Probably not happening. And bring it down. Bring it down is much more better. I should be able to kill yes. a few vehicles. I do actually, I will spend that one CP that I was going to use in Saint Bray because I didn't have to, to get rid of Overwhelming Force because the board's not on objectives, so that's not going to happen. For clans, uh, I think I know what these guys will be doing. All right, so let's go on to my movement and see if I can figure out something to cleanse. All right, so for my turn three, I did move this squad a little further over here just so Laura can't get around here and shoot me, or at least make it a little bit harder. And then she did overwatch me. Luckily, I only took no wounds. Yeah, I only took one wound. Oh, what else do we do here? I moved over here, advanced with these fellas just so we can do the action, and I made another objective over here just to keep on piling up some primary so I can get screwed over by another secret mission. <laughs> Staying over here just so I can shoot into these guys, maybe shoot into these, uh, to the Sentinel, see if I can take that thing out, see what happens. So that is my movement. Really nothing else to do. Move towards these Kriegsmen. We're going to the shooting. <clears throat> see if I can shoot some stuff with my mind bullets and my psi cannon. Now, I do believe I want to do some charges. I do have a CP for reroll, but I don't know which if I want to waste that or not. 
For now, we'll do some charges. I do want to charge, I'm going to dual charge. I'm going to charge Drago's unit into this Lehman Russ and the Sentinel. We do need a decent charge. Phew. 12, that'll do it. I'm going to charge these fellas into there. We do need a seven. Mix in the seven. And then I'm actually going to charge this unit into this Lehman Ross. Okay. With an eight. It's probably good. It probably is good. So we're going to do some charges and see if I can smash in some guard. Alrighty. So my awful luck continues with the Grey Knights. The Rogaldorn is at two HP. This thing's down to six. This thing keeps on failing over and over and over again. Kill the Sentinel. And this thing is down to, I think it's seven wounds or something like that as well. So not doing the best in melee. I do believe we get no points for bringing it down. So we're going to toss cleanse. So the score is still 27 to 27. We're going to move on to turn four for the guard. Ooh, aerial That's denial. annoying. And extend battle lines, which is already accomplished. Extend battle lines and aerial denial. And she does get five points for this objective, bringing her up to 32 points. And we're going to go on to Laura's movement. I'm up to 2 CP. And Laura's up to 2 CP as well, I do believe. Oh, uh, just one. No, I just blew one. through all of it. All right. Laura's up to 1, and I'm up to 2 CP. All righty here. So at the end of the turn, Laura was able to, I think, steal this or contest it at least by charging this unit. She did. I did finally kill the Lehman Russ. And I lost more Terminators. I lost my entire Paladin squad, so that is no good. I wanted at least a one to live so I could pick you up him and do a little shenanigans. But he is gone. Lost one of my models over here. So Laura's done real well. She's gotten our five points and extend battle lines, bringing her up to 37 to my 27. 37 to 29. 37 to 29. On to my turn four. Turn four. Let's see what I draw. I need something good. Storm hostile objective. I think I could do that one. I have an idea for that. Mm. And call the horde. Not call the hordeable, I don't think. Yes, I am. Oh, you are with they those They are ones. both call the hordeable. Call the hordeable. Well, I'm going to hold on to that. And those ones, I might be able to call that horde. For my movement, I just fell back with these fellas just so I... Actually, oh, they can't shoot. I would like to keep them in combat, but I'd rather... I don't want you to punch me back because you get to strike first and you might bash my head. So I fell back there, brought the Nemesis Dread Knight in here. Hopefully I can get the charge. If not, maybe I can shoot them to death. I brought my strike squad down in here. I used my one CP to bring him down within three inches so I can steal that objective. So I will get storm hostile objective. And I did get five points for the middle one, bringing me up to 34 to 37. And let's go into some of my shooting and let's see if I can hopefully take up some of these. All right, so at the end of my turn, I was able to take out the Lehman Russ. No, uh, the tank commander, he did shoot back and luckily I got pretty hot in my rolls. I leave one of these guys left alive, which is big because I good to steal objective. Drago's still on this objective. Strike Squad here. Nemesis Dreadnought here. So I do get nine points, I do believe, on the primary, bringing me up to 43 to 37. Mm. And we're going to go on to Laura's turn five. Alrighty, so we did end up doing turn five quickly here, and what a game. Like, I'm down to turn five. I was down to one model left, a Nemesis Dreadnought. And I'm picking up defend the whole defend the whole defend stronghold and aerial denial, which I got defend stronghold from sticking, and I just had aerial denial. I just dropped my nemesis dread knight in there, and Laura on her end of her turn, she's had 57 points because she got some big secondaries from I do believe she had extend and something else. Overwhelming to force and mark for death. Overwhelming force and mark for death. Basically table too. Yeah, she basically tabled me. It was looking pretty dire for me. She still did get the win. But the score is 57 to 56, I do believe. Yeah. And that was a close, close game. I'll take that. Throwing against this list. against I, I do believe I think I would rather have some more infantry. But then I'm starting to get leaned towards Custodes territory. It was just all infantry. Mm. It was a close game. You can't ask for more than that. Down to the last turn, the last draw. A great game. Thanks to Laura for coming. It's always a great time. That was a stressful game. It was a stressful game. <laughs>